Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Skull Motion. Because today we will take a look at 3D object tracking in After Effects. And I actually wanted to do a tutorial about exactly that for a long, long time. But in the past it simply wasn't possible without any third-party plugins. But now, as you have heard the big news, After Effects can now natively import 3D objects. Now this is just the perfect timing. But we would need an object tracker for that. Have a motion, you can just use the camera tracker for that. I've watched a few videos on YouTube. Uh, no, okay. That is a workflow that is out there in the internet, which is wrong. Well, I don't even want to think about this. It's, it's just wrong. So today, let's get a little bit more professional. Hey, and I will also announce the winners of Pastiche from the last video at the end of this video. So stick around for that. We are doing two things today. First, we will create an object track within After Effects. And second, we import a 3D object into After Effects and light it up and animate it. All of this within After Effects and all of this without the camera tracker. So quick tip. A camera tracker is called camera tracker because it tracks a camera. But wait, there is no object tracker in After Effects. Hmm, almost true. Because there is a free plugin that does exactly that, the Geo Tracker from Keen Tools. And that can easily be your new best friend within After Effects. So, so let's fire up After Effects and I have my clip already within the timeline. I can directly apply the effect to it and it automatically starts analyzing. Great. Hey, and this is just that the actual track later on will go super fast. Okay, how do we do that? The Geo Tracker has some primitives that you could use to track cars, boxes, spheres, so stuff with primitive shapes. But my face is not primitive. Hmm. But Therefore, you can also import 3D objects and the most common file types are supported. So I just downloaded a free head from the internet and here we have it. So let's place it on my face and I can just grab it, which will create pins and with those I can align them as good as possible. Now let's open up the toolbar, which is the actual tracker. So simply track forward and whenever you see that it is off, you can adjust it. But <clears throat> But it has already created keyframes until the point where it is off. <laughs> no worries! If you have adjusted something, you can hit the refine button and it will take that into consideration. Simple, easy, for free, accurate and it has so so many extra features so that I could very easily also incorporate that into a professional workflow. And all of you who are watching and do this professionally for a living will know what it means to have a dedicated camera settings tab within your tracker. Oh, and did I actually mention that I'm not sponsored or anything by Keen Tools? It's free. I tried it out. After Effects now offers 3D. That's it. Okay, our track and my monologue is done. So what's next? We simply go to the export tab and create a 3D null. And this now has all the rotation, scale and position data from the head. And another great thing about this, all of this is linked to the effect. So when I change something there, the null object adopts that automatically. Now let's import our 3D object. Oh, and I'm using a GLB file as I found they work best at the moment in After Effects as they bring in the texture automatically. And to make it even more advanced, I'm importing the jaw separately from the skull. And you see that we are now completely in real 3D space and both of those assets interact. All there is to do now is to parent them to the null object and quickly position them in the right place. And voila, the base of this effect is done. Looking pretty cool. <laughs> The tutorial could be over and all of you not advanced users and subscribers out there i can say thanks for watching see you next time hey and for all the others here's the encore while filming i also created a clean plate by simply leaving the frame at the end of the recording so i can bring that between the skull and the footage 
Next, let's get rid of my skin. And we can do that with a simple color key. One for the orange side and one for the blue. And we could also animate this in and out. So almost there. Just two more things. Setting up lights and animating the 3D object. So let's do that first. And I want to automatically animate the jaw going up and down while I am speaking. Yes, we need to keyframe the rotation, but this is really a lot to do. And as we are professionally lazy, or lazy professionals, <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can use a trick for that. I have the text that I want to speak pre-recorded and bring it into the timeline. And now I can click on the layer, go to keyframe assistant and to convert audio to keyframes. Hey, and we have a layer with a slider. Well, actually three sliders for left, right and both audio channels. And as we only need both, we can delete the other two directly. Now, when we open up the graph editor, you see we have a slider with high values whenever the audio is louder. Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Skull Motion. Perfect. Let's just alt click on the rotation stopwatch and with the pick whip connect it to the slider. And when we play this back, the mouth now animates to the spoken words. Absolutely amazing. But let's not lose our focus because we are still missing the most important part of this, adding lights to the scene. So let us recreate the exact same lights that I also used in my room. There are actually four windows in this room where I added some diffusion, so it is just an overall really small ambient light. So let's create an ambient light and just bring it up ever so slightly, hey, as in the real world. Next, we create two point lights, one with an orange tone and one with a blue tint. And when we click on this two views button, we can choose a top view, which will make it super easy to position the two lights. But why haven't we done that for the ambient light? Well, the ambient light lightens up everything from each direction with the same intensity. So it doesn't matter where you put it. And what shall I say? I'm really impressed by what we have created only within After Effects. And if you want to learn more about 3D in After Effects, you can watch this tutorial here, where you get an overview of everything that is possible at the moment. And finally, here are the winners of Pastiche from the last video. So feel free to subscribe while I show their names on the big screen so you can win something too in the future. Okay, but for now I wish you a lot of fun with camera object tracking in After Effects. <laughs>